from the day four. How'd you sleep? It's just fabulous. That's pretty good sleeping weather, isn't it? Awesome. <laughs> Filming without your pants on in the breakfast restaurant. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? The Connect Up Cafe. So the red X is where we started. This red X is where we finish. We are about, looks like one third of the way through our flow. One third. And we were not far from one of the campsites that Papa Bear recommended, uh, Nackgill Creek. I think we're gonna, that's only gonna be about half a mile down the river. Right there. So I think we'll go down today and we'll check that out. Uh, but if, as we come down here, this is, I think, Sam. Well, it looks like it gets skinny there. Yeah, Sam Creek. And then our friend Frank recommended Clack Creek to stay overnight. All right, well, we got a plan together. Going to make it to Clack, oh. seven miles. Yeah. No problem. And I think we, this site has got an aquarium in the backyard here, full of sockeyes and chum. Everything is always wet. Well, if Dan hooks a Dolly Varden, we can have that for breakfast. Otherwise, it's oatmeal. Morning breakfast. Voila. What's your thought? First bite. Good? Yeah. Something I kind of thought might be fun to have in this video is uh, this uh, hat. This was my late best buddy Barry's hat. And uh, in spirit, I believe he's here with us. I thought I'd wear his hat on this trip and then I'm gonna retire it. I think it brought us good luck already, huh? Yeah. Cool. Anyway, thought that might be fun to have in that video. Yeah, Barry's a good man. Missed. Mm -hmm. Missed him every day. This morning I was up early drinking coffee and a bear came, I noticed it right on this little this little park right here and she went right up and over the top of that hill and came around. I think she's going around us. So what did you do? It was fun to watch it. I just watched her. You didn't but go grab your gun? I did just because I'm like, <laughs> there's a bear over there. I should <laughs> probably have some way to <laughs> scare it away. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. I like that. So you went and got a, a sound maker? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I figure if He's I had to, I could shoot one of you guys in the leg, and then that way I'd get a chance of getting away. You see what I just did? <laughs> I went like that, try to eat it through my mask. Oh, well, <laughs> this isn't a video of what not to do, Mike. Oh! <laughs> Pulled the rod out of my hand. <laughs> oh, look at that rod, Ben. Oh. I got a bruise on my belly from fighting big fish. Jamming the butt of the rod into it. Ooh, wow, that really hit me hard. I had that one coming. All right. So I was fighting a fish and the hook pulled free. And it hit my finger and it's swelling up. I can't believe how hard that fly hit me right in the finger. Woo. I don't know if you can tell. All right, start the engine up, boys. Ready? I got Bentley power today. You ready, Brian? Oh. Check out this grayling. That's the biggest grayling I've ever seen. Oh, in this fast water, it ain't easy to net it. There we go. Beautiful fish. Look at that. That's that's amazing, huh? What a beauty. I never caught one that big. Thanks, buddy. Good fight. Yeah. Get him. There we go. Boy, he's wild still. They fight pretty hard. Yeah, they're good fish. Yeah, they're this is like a nice the fish. Rainbow. The rainbow's quite hard. The rainbow's quite hard. <laughs> Drag him my way. Yeah. Hand that to me. I got it. All right. All right, buddy. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Nice one, Dan. <laughs> there are so many fish right here. I mean, it's every cast you're getting hit. Any place you'd rather be? Yep. Well, that's another pretty one. Well, we planned this trip a year ago just to be right here, right now. Yeah. It's I'm pretty having, cool. I'm having the absolute time of my life. Pretty cool. I, you could stay, I bet you could catch 50 fish in this one run. I mean, this is crazy fishing. When we were kids, Mike, we'd go out in a crappy little boat. Literally, if you did not net the fish, it was fisticuffs. <laughs> Well, let's Don't not do that. Plugged in the mush for that. <laughs> there we go. They've got a nice one. Yeah. Double. If I can get to the line, I'd be happy. There we go. If I go up and have him first. So they got that. I'm gonna try to cast over. See if we can triple up. Triple up. There, I'll grab yours. I haven't seen him yet. Quiet. Look at that, he won't come in. Oh, this is a good time. They don't tire easy, do they? No, he sees me, he turns his head, and he just goes. That's what they all do. Just like the lady. Yeah, nice scoop, buddy. Woohoo! Nice. That's a pig. Isn't that beautiful? That's a great Another looking one. fish. Yeah, lunch is over. Brian, you were scooping. How many you think you scooped? 30, 35. <laughs> 30, 35? I'm tired. It's a lot of work. Did you miss any? Nope. Nope, all right. I did fall down though. I expect that. All right, so I got the uh, pro the pro on the oars, engine Dan. Choo -choo. He runs on Mountain Dew. Anyway, I thought I'd quick explain why we picked a Connect Talk. So when, when Dan called me and said he wanted to do an Alaska do-it-yourself float, one of the things I remember saying is that I really wanted variety. I didn't want to go out and catch the same thing over and over. Catching a bunch of big kings would be awesome, catching a bunch of silvers, but catching a bunch of different species is what I what I talked about, and, and Dan was up for that. So we did a bunch of research on it and came up with the, the Connect Talk in late July and August, and there's five species of salmon in this river. Um, so we got silvers and pinks left to try to catch to get the slam. Yeah. And uh, this area, especially this mid-river area that we're at, is just full of Dolly Varden, and they're gorgeous, they fight hard, great, great fish. But that's why we picked the Connect Talk River. Yeah. Drifting. This long enough just. Oh, we gotta see it. Bigger fish. That's a big rainbow. Wow, cool. Big rainbow, huh? Big rainbow. Got me to get out. Uh, well, we gotta keep going. He's all twisted up. He's all lasso. Oh, oh, the first one that rainbow right there. That's a big boy. That's an awful yeah. big fish. Hey. Landed one. Look at the size. Holy of the moly. Can you show them to the camera here, Dan? 25, 25. Wow. Nice fish. So check out how the river's really changed here. We've got fallen timber everywhere, tons of braids. This is a puzzle to get through. So we're keeping the boats close together, but it is really interesting. I'm going to be interested to look at all the video from the previous days. Every day the, uh, the terrain has changed a little bit. We couldn't even find firewood on the first day and a half. What a wild river. Truly really wild. Been like this for 2,000 years or longer. You know? Yeah. It's amazing. All right, obviously didn't film this, but that was a bit of an Alaska portage. <laughs> uh, Dan said, get out and stop us, and boom. I knew we were in trouble, but he knew what we were doing. We got the boat stopped, but wasn't easy. I turned the camera on, but I didn't tell you, Dan. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Beautiful fish. 
There we go. Doubles. Doubles. I mean, this is. If you try, this is a hundred fish a day spot. Yep. Grabbing? Yep. Got a nice big thing. Yeah, cool Aren't fish. They cool? Yep. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, I whacked one. Man, what a fishery. This is insane. I mean, this is what dreams are made of growing up in Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Catching little rainbows in Duluth. Oh, yeah. And that was a gas. Those are, I mean, oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with those fish. Heck, yeah, man. We caught a lot. God, this is unlike anything else. Basically, you just almost catch fish at will. Oh, we popped cool. up. Look at all the sockeyes over here to the right. Or just catch another fish. That's good. Oh, it's a good one. There we go. Oh, Dan, it's a good one. Yeah. Oh, no. he, he's there. He's there. Oh, he's there. He might he's, still be there. Yeah, I know he's there. I can see him. He's just running at you. He burned my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just a nice char. Geez, he's just a jumper. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. I can't. I know. <laughs> okay. Grab yeah. this. Grab this. Square down. Come on. I'm going to let you. You know, I got that on. I think it's trout. I think I am. There you go. My biggest fish, I think. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Uh huh. Stand in this spot. Five minutes. We have seven fish. <laughs> Dan's got his right down there. He likes to let him run a little bit. Uh, mine are right here. <laughs> this is Nuktik, Nuktik Creek. Something like that. But two buddies just up in Alaska having a great time. Heck yeah. Thanks, guys. You can see it. There's a collection of sockeyes. Look at all the grizzly bear tracks. Lots and lots and lots of bear tracks. Look at that back foot right there. Long as mine. All right, so we got our uh, camp set up here. We're about a mile past Clack Creek. And um, pretty nice campsite here. We wanted to camp at Clack, but uh, there's a guide on the water that's been super nice to us. Um, and gave us some great advice. And uh, we've been just kind of leapfrogging with them, and they got the Clack before we did. Anyway, we're all set up. We're just getting a fire going. We're gonna make burgers tonight. We got some people fishing. We got Mike fishing over there. Dan's fishing over there. Brian's taking a, a bath back here. There's a river back here. Or there's a, a cutaway back here that uh, he's using to take a, a little bath in. And um, yeah, we're all set up. Super crazy day. Holy cow, did we catch fish. Unbelievable. Brian is taking his camp hygiene to seriously new levels. Get myself cleaned up. Jesus. Gotta look good for the salmon. Oh, we're having a good time out here. So it's meat day today. Mm -hmm. So Dan is on the grill. All right, it's burger time. How are they tasting, Mike? Fantastic. After a day of catching fish, a burger. We had moose appetizer. Up on day four is a pretty, pretty wild day. What was, the, what was the best part of the day? Oh, I caught tons of fish. <laughs> Thanks to my guides here. <laughs> and they tied a lot of lines that get broke up here. So right. if you're gonna come up here, and you're gonna go fishing, bring a lot of tackle, cause you will use a lot right. of tackle. Dan, what was the best part of your day? Um, I wanna say that really big rainbow. I got a rainbow that was like 26-ish. Yeah. But Kind of fun surprise. I think honestly, it was looking up and being within about 60 yards of a grizzly this morning oh. at camp. Scared the heck out of me, but 
But man, that was cool to see them right there. And that's, I don't well, ever want to well, be closer cool. to a bear than that, but yeah. Mike, what are your thoughts? I'd have to say the highlight was watching you and Dan fish together. Yeah, that was fun. And that then, was a good yeah. thing. And then seeing Brian finally get out there with a, a fly rod. Turned him into a fly fisherman <laughs> a fly today. Fisherman. Yep, it can be done. Even a Thanks, lefty guys. can fly yeah, fish. <laughs> it was looking good too. He, looking bunch of fish. He, he had a fish on that was so big it pulled his his uh, pole completely under the boat. So that was pretty fun to see that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll lift that up again. And that's why he catches fish, <laughs> folks. <laughs> We're a third of the way through the trip. What do you wish you had more of? <laughs> Cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> How many beers did we bring? Two each. Four, Four total. total.